The knee is basically a hinge, right? So if you, if you treat the knee the way it's meant to be, which is a, a horsepower transfer joint, if you're having knee pain, it's most likely, now listen, in my clinic for 15 years, I've been a doc, in my clinic, I've probably seen an actual knee problem probably less than five times. I've seen a ton of hip and ankle mobility issues. So if you have a knee problem, you should probably look at more or less strengthening and changing the function of the hip and strengthening the quads and you're gonna find that your knee problem and your knee pain goes away. So, I'm gonna show you something what not to do. If you have a foam roller, remember what I said the other day about a foam roller. If you grab your foam roller and you start smashing and grinding away on your knee and humping the hell out of the floor trying to fix your knee, that's garbage. All you're doing is turning the pain up on one area and you're dampening the signal from another. It's not doing anything. These are junk. They're not gonna help you. So I'm gonna show you what to do. First thing we're gonna do is you're gonna get the knee working properly, and then I'm gonna show you how to unload the hip because the hip needs to externally rotate because a lot of times what happens is the knee tends to fold in. So what happens on a lot of people is they tend to have these valgus knees. I realize somebody just sent me a message about have I ever done anything on a bare knee. No, I haven't, and I'll do one for you, but the, the valgus is a really common one, so the knee tends to drop in, and it loads the knee with shear, and if this isn't lined up, you run into all kinds of problems. So I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna show you four things to do, might even be five. Two of them are isometrics, one of them is functional, and the other one is going to really unload that hip and that external rotation, and even strengthen it up a little bit. I know I did a little shimmy slide. So the first thing you're gonna need is a box. You're gonna get into a plank. We're gonna get on the box with both feet. And we're just going to bring the knees in and then squeeze the quads. Come down, squeeze the quads. This is an amazing exercise to really clean up and fix knee function. And if your knees hurt, I promise you, try it and you'll be blown away. So that's number one. Number two is you're going to get up against a wall. Can you see me all right? Yeah, you can. I'll go this way so you can see a little more. You're going to get up against the wall. You're going to push your knee against the wall. So right now my knee is pushed against the wall. I'm going to take my foot. Now I'm pushing, bring this to 90. I am trying to kick into the wall with my foot as hard as I can for a good 15 to 20 seconds. Then I'm going to relax. 15 to 20 seconds, then relax. 15 to 20 seconds, then relax. Those are the isometrics. We're going to work that quad and get it working the way it's supposed to. Then we want to fix that terminal knee extension because if we're walking around with our knees like this, we can't extend. There's a problem. So, we take a band. Let's see, I'll step in on this side so you can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna step in, the band goes above the knee. And I'm, gonna, I'm standing on a plate, so I'm above the plate, this foot's high, so I'll stand like this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna drop down real slow, band is pulling this way, step up. Drop down real slow, step up. Again, drop down real slow, and then step up, locking it out, three sets of 10, down. Number three. Number four, back on your box. You're going to take your foot, put it on the box, roll it over. This is the important part. Everybody misses this. They do this and try and crank it over. You're just going to shear the knee some more. So roll it over. So I'm on the box. My foot's rolled over. I'm driving my chest forward. You saw this before. I posted lots of knee stuff. I'm going to give you another one. And I'm going to drive my chest away from this, from the inside, inside of this foot. And I'm going to hang out in this position. Two minutes. That is number four. You want to fix your knees, start fixing them right. Stop banging them to death with lacrosse balls, rubber bands, and foam rollers. Hey, listen, I'm Trev, Smashworks. You want to get healthy, you want to get back into the gym and keep your A game, make yourself invulnerable, you come see me. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. I love you.